Welcome back everybody, I'm Ernest with Epix. Do you have an Audi with power steering issues? B2000 code, a message on the instrument cluster steering defective, do not drive, or your power steering rack simply doesn't work at all? Well, this affects quite a few Audis. Select years and models that you'll see on the screen. And this 2017 Audi A6 also has that power steering module. Now, if you try to get a replacement, the dealer doesn't sell these separately. You have to buy the entire power steering rack. And here at Uffix, we have a better solution. Simply remove that power steering module. You don't have to take apart the entire power steering rack and send it in for repairs. Once you get it back, it should be working and you're all set. I'm gonna show you how to remove it and send it in. So let's get started. The power steering module is covered by a bottom plastic cover and there's quite a few screws. So we're gonna take them all off and then you'll be able to see that power steering module. And I'm gonna explain what it looks like here. This is the one towards the back. And once you remove these T25s and T30 Torx bits, these three right here, uh, this one slides out from underneath. And this is the one that covers the power steering module. Using a size 13 socket wrench, you can remove these four bolts. And then you have a couple more T25 Torx screws. And once you remove that, this one slides out from the last plastic engine cover and you just slide it back towards the vehicle and it pops out. So now you've seen how these two bottom engine covers are removed. Keep in mind, you don't have to remove that last one towards the front bumper. In order to show you more easily how to remove this power steering module from underneath the vehicle, this is our test bench here. And you can imagine this power steering module from underneath the vehicle, it's gonna be exposed as soon as you remove the engine covers. To remove it, you'll need a flathead screwdriver and a T25 Torx bit. First step is to remove the T25 Torx screws. And there's eight in total. Step two, remove these three plugs. I'm gonna start off with the biggest one. There's a red locking lever. Push it out and then press in and you can remove it with your hands. The second one here, you wanna take a flathead that fits inside and just gently disengage that little tab. You hear that click and this one will come out. And then the last one, you just simply press down and push it out. And the final step is to remove the power steering module from the rack. As you can see what it looks like on the other side, you don't wanna put the flathead screwdriver too far inside so it doesn't damage any components. And I'm gonna start where the plug is. On this angle, you can wedge it in and just push up against the power steering module. You'll see a little created gap and you can work your way back and forth very carefully until you start seeing it removed. And there you have it. That's the power steering rack itself. You can see the tabs that it connects to and the power steering rack module itself. After you've reinstalled the power steering module that's been refurbished, you can ensure that the codes are cleared, especially the B2000 code for the power steering module. Now an important disclaimer, you need an OBD2 scan tool that can communicate with the power steering module. Not every single scan tool can communicate with it, so make sure that yours does support that feature. And on this one, it's called 44, module 44, which is power steering. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna just read the codes and make sure that all the codes are cleared. And sure enough, no codes on there. So this vehicle is all set and now it's regained its functionality in the power steering and the codes are cleared. Thanks for watching. I'm Ernest with Upfix and we'll see you next time.